fucking more for the same subwoofer that you can get for less just because they put their fucking name on it. But it's the same subwoofer you just passed on the internet for $80. It's the same damn subwoofer. Give a one life to live out here in this world, man. If you don't do it right now, then when you gonna do it? If you don't do it for nobody else, make sure you do it for yourself. Hey, if you ain't got nobody, do it, but then do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. Do it, do it for hey. yourself. And when they start hating on you, tell them thank you for hey. the hell. Thank you, thank you for the hell. Thank you, thank you for the hell. If you ain't got nobody, do it, but then do it for hey. yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. And when they start hating on you, tell them thank you for the hell. Thank you, thank you for the hell. Thank you, thank you for the hell. Alright guys, so like I said, we're gonna be talking about subwoofer clones that have the specs and are pretty much identical to a lot of these major brands. Now, don't get it twisted. There are certain brands out there that you're not gonna find any clones on because the other brands that are cloning and copying other brands they're just not gonna put the time, research, or money into, into the innovation of a new product. You feel me? So the reason why I say we're being pimped or maybe even being played or have been pimped or played is because a lot of soil woofers and or amps are I fucking identical. And we're paying anywhere from fifty to one hundred and fifty, maybe even two or three hundred dollars more on a product just because of the name. Just because of the name. Now I understand when you build a a, a, a reputable brand or a product that that comes with its own statue. It comes with its own respect level, and once you establish yourself as a top dog or a big dog, you won't get paid for that. That's understandable. But my thing is, for example, I just watched one of my cousin's recent video. Y'all go over there, check out my little cousin, Smooth Creation. And he just broke some shit down that damn near blew my mind, y'all. He's running in his own car right now two golden eagle audio 12 inch subwoofer he's running two of those right they going for 150 dollars i think at this moment they're going for 150 and he was doing his homework he was doing his research and he found out that those subwoofers are identical to the ct sound miso 12 i mean y'all the specs and everything are identical identical and if there are any uh differences they're super small now with those super small differences make a huge difference in the system probably so but the difference probably be so small you probably wouldn't be able to hear it by ear the meter probably pick it up but a lot of us are not metering our shit if we got a banging system we're going by ear and some differences you just not gonna hear by ear. The meter will pick it up, but not by ear. And why would I pay two or three hundred dollars for a Miso 12 or however much they're going for when I can get one of those subwoofers he's running for $150 and it's the exact same subwoofer, just rebranded. That's why I say I feel like we been been getting played we been getting pimped they're just part of the world we live in there's capitalism or whatever the hell you want to call it that's just the name of the game it is what it is but my point of this video is trying to open some of y'all eyes to that because i feel like sometimes a lot of us run certain brands just because that's what's hot now don't get me wrong, there are a lot of brands out there that hold their own fucking weight, and we all know that. But if I can help somebody save some cash and still be as loud as they're trying to be and save a couple hundred dollars, that's what I'm here for. You did. So my message is make sure you do your homework, man. Make sure you do your homework, bro. 
because the same sub woofer you may be looking at right now getting ready to purchase, you can probably find another sub woofer with the exact same specs and everything, get the same output, same everything, bro, for way cheaper. More money in your pocket, you can't never go wrong with that. Especially not in today's time, you can't go wrong with that. So, make sure you do your research, make sure you do your homework, bro. There are a lot of non-mainstream companies that are copying a lot of these mainstream companies or these big name companies. Well, there ain't too many on copying the big name company because they already solidified. Them folks are not about to spend the money to make another goddamn Sundown ZV6 or some shit like they ain't about to do it. You ain't gonna see another clone at all. You're not even about to see the clone of a Sundown X. They ain't about to do it. You ain't about to see the clone of a goddamn kick or nothing. They just ain't about to put the money or research in it. But when it comes down to, just say for instance, this here is a SCAR SDR-12. How many times have we seen this platform on how many different companies? Basket, motor, cool events, uh, surround, dust cap, and everything. I forgot how much these subwoofers are going for, right? But I'm sure you can find this exact same subwoofer you get some acetone, erase the goddamn name, put your name on it, and I'ma sell it for $100 more because it's my name. But it's the same thing as this. You gonna get the same output, the exact same output. The specs are identical, but you are gonna spend more. You wanna know why? Because it's mine. So that's why I say, you got to be careful when you're spending your money out here in the car to your community, guys. Uh, I definitely learned my lesson, and I'm constantly learning. I'm not the the, the car audio or fucking expert or nothing like that, bro. I'm just a typical everyday damn guy that's addicted to car audio, if y'all can't tell. That's just a few of them. That's just a few. I'm addicted. I got a problem. <laughs> I got a fucking problem, but... If I can help you save some cash, man, that's my goal. My channel has been built, dog, getting as loud as possible, anywhere from that mid price range, anywhere from two to three hundred dollars a sub woofer and or amp, depending on what I'm trying to do, because the amps are iffy. If I got if I done went and got some pretty big ass sub woofer, I'm not gonna go skimp on my amp. You know what I'm saying? I can't. That just wouldn't be right. But my thing is to get as loud as possible for, I guess you could say for as least as possible. I mean, that's just what it is. Do I wanna have a huge ass sundown sub woofer sitting on the table and shit? Do I want big ass crossfires and Sundowns and Death Bunts and goddamn American bass big ass sub woofers and hell yeah. And that's still a goal of mine. I'm gonna get them. We gonna speak that into the existence. It's gonna happen, right? But why would I cash out on something like that when I can go somewhere and get something that's gonna give me pretty much the same output? As long as my box and my electrical straight, they gonna give me the same output. If I'm not clipping them or abusing them, I'm getting the same output. And a lot of people gonna say, well, yeah, you pay more for the reliability and all that. You know, other brands do this and that for reliability, which is true, but you can get a budget. So Wolf, as long as you're using it for its purpose, it's gonna last forever. Think about it. Every sub will for every speaker, every amp, every goddamn head unit is made to last forever. They're made to last forever. If they blow, if they take a shit on you, they give out, guess who fault it is? Mine, yours, or whoever purchased it and abused it. It's their fault. It's not the company fault. Because for one, Either you are abusing it, using it outside of its means, or that's it. 
Ain't no other option. So just be careful on what you're spending your money on because nine times out of 10, the subwoofer that you're looking at to get right now, unless it's one of those higher solidified brands that you ain't gonna find no clone on, make sure you're doing your homework because you could probably get that same subwoofer and same output for half the goddamn price. Make sure you surfing the internet, bro. I just found a company out there called Blur Vision. Never heard of them. Just found them. I'm not sponsored by them or nothing. I emailed them trying to review some shit. I'm going I'm to keep it real. But they have an 8 inch subwoofer with a four stack magnet. That motherfucker is huge, y'all. You know how Audio Pipe has their four stack. And I just found out Audio Pipe just dropped a new damn subwoofer the five stack. I want to check that out. But Blur Vision have an eight inch subwoofer with a four stack magnet. Man, that motherfucker might be standing there on the goddamn table. Now, how reliable it gonna be, I don't know. How good it is, I don't know. But from the pictures and from what they saying it's supposed to do, shit. For eight, shit. Man, it might be worth checking out, man. Y'all might see that one on the channel real soon. Especially when y'all find out how much they going for. Oh my God. You get all that for that? Do your research, do your homework, man. This your boy Bass at it, man. I just want to come through with that message. Cause like I said, I just seen my cousin channel and that damn blew my mind, man. And he got the same performance of a CT sound miso 12 inch for half, half the fucking price. That's crazy. Clones and copies, man. Clones and fucking copies. We're maybe we may be out here or we are out here paying more for certain subwoofers and certain brands just because of the fucking name. You paying more for the same subwoofer that you can get for less just because they put their fucking name on it. But it's the same subwoofer you just passed on the internet for $80. It's the same damn sub. You paying an extra $150 for an $80 subwoofer just because they put their name on it. Let that sink in, man. This your boy Bass at it. Y'all go check my cousin Smooth Creation out, man. He's dropping jewels over there. I'm trying to hit and get to 3,000 subscribers. If you rock with me, y'all know I rock with all my folks, man. My fam, I rock with them. So if you feel it in your heart, y'all go over there, help my cousin get up, get up to that 3,000 mark, man. It'd be greatly appreciated. This your boy Bass at it. Checking out with another one. Like I said, drop your opinion in the comment section below. Y'all know I'm active with my comment section and we can talk about it there. We are We dream that can start off as nightmares, yeah. You can voice your opinion, but who really cares, yeah. Nigga saying that I motherfucking been here before. Like I got a whole, like I got a whole soul, you know. Not that same dude back in high school Trials and tribulation had to make